the boxer who will occupy the red corner, Victoria Tereszczak, 18 years of age, preparing for her first bout here in her home World Youth Championships. Her opponent in the blue corner is also 18 years old, and that is Kristina Baklav Baklavikova. She boxing for the Czech Republic. Our referees from Kazakhstan, both boxers will now receive the final instructions. So we're underway then, 64 kilogram light welterweight action between boxers from Poland and the Czech Republic. The woman wearing blue who has come out at a terrific clip, letting shots go from both flanks is Kristina Vaklavikova, 18 years of age, comes into the ring as the reigning silver medalist in her national championship. She's facing off against the national champion, the woman up on her toes and looking to peck and poke with that left jab on the back foot is Victoria Tereszczak. Two 18-year-olds engaging in a tear-up in the opening 30 seconds of this first round. Even though Vaklavikova comes in as the national championship silver medalist as she's put on the end of an educated left hand just to try and blunt her attempted forward foray. Vaklavikova has enjoyed consecutive national championship success in the age classification down. She was two-time national junior champion of the Czech Republic. And now Tereszczak just beginning to find the range up on her toes and neutralizing these forward advances with darting, flicking punches like that keeping her cool under fire. Caught, but not caught by surprise, but just had to adjust to the rhythm. After Vaklavikova got on the front foot right from the opening belt, she did have right-hand success there, Vaklavikova, but she was picked off by straight punches once again. Terrestre track using the space of the boxing ring very well indeed. Here's a right-hand-left hook combination as she was on the move to her right. Vaklavikova keeps on coming, and with her opponent pinned to the rope, she landed a strong right hand over the top. So Vaklavikova looking to crowd her opponent once more. Minute to go in the opening round, up on her toes. Moving laterally left and right very effectively indeed is Tereszczak. But Vaklavikova simply keeps on coming, marauding her way forwards. But here, surely, because she's been picked off at long range, that's what she needs to be doing, getting busy with her hands to the body of the boxer in red. She takes a good, she lands a good left jab and then a right cross, catching Tereszczak as she was trying to retreat. And that's a solid single shot success for Vaklavikova. Right hand success once again, but it was countered by a Czech left hand from Tereszczak. Back into the breach steps, Vaklavikova. Less than 30 seconds to go in the opening round. Vaklavikova coming with a two, three phase attack, keeping the attack going. Didn't really have any success as she was letting her shots go from both hands. Couldn't find the accuracy. So closing seconds of this opening round. Vaklavikova with a left hand, right hand success in that two shot combination. Rough house at the end of the session. What a session, my goodness. Ordered a high tempo through the first three minutes. Oh, Vaklavikova stormed out of the blocks to begin this contest. But Tereszczak made a very good adjustment indeed. And then she began to have success picking off her opponent, scoring with flicking punches while she was invariably up on her toes. But there was a type of success that Vaklavikova was able to enjoy sporadically. Hard, eye-catching singles. When Tereszczak was near the ropes, Vaklavikova electing to remain standing. Showing her opponent that she is ready to bring it once again. So into the second round then. 
Nice left jab on the resumption. And then a right hand over the top landed by Vaklavikova. Czech left hand is an eye-catching shot landed by Tereszczak. Vaklavikova here as part of a nine-strong Czech Republic boxing team as the two boxers exchange jabs. Four women, five men. Tereszczak is one of ten women on the Polish boxing team. They're one of the four nations who have boxers in every weight class in the tournaments for both men and women. Left jab landed by Vaklavikova. Well, Teres Jack just looking to hold on, get herself away from the ropes, turn her opponent and put, trying to put her in a confined position. But surely Vaklavikova needs to be targeting the body of the fleet-footed Polish boxer there. Becoming increasingly untidy now. Vaklavikova spoken to about keeping her head up. She lands a hard single right hand, but is countered by a left right from the woman in red. And even though Teres Jack is producing very effective boxing on the back foot. She may at some point just have to stand her ground as she did there and back up Vaklavikova to show the officials that she's not trying to steal this fight or just show that she's not being negative in any way, trying to nick it. Just beyond the midpoint of the second round. Vaklavikova trying to lure her opponent in once again. Tries an uppercut, but was tagged with a couple of feather-light punches by the advancing woman in blue. She muscles her way forward once again. But her work becoming just a little less crisp now, Vaklavikova. These boxers have put an awful lot into the round and two-thirds of a round that have elapsed so far. Vaklavikova, her footwork becoming just a little bit more laboured, and that's why she was pinged by that one-two as she attempted to come forward. So Vaklavikova continues her forward march, trying to close the distance. Again, she's not been able to get her hands free at close territory, and I just think that's wasted opportunity in terms of time ticking away. And she's not looking to score with body punches. Right hand over the top, not too far away from Tereszczak. And still Vaklavikova goes in pursuit of her opponent. So a little shuffle to conclude the round by Vaklavikova before making her way back to the corner. She elects to remain standing once again. Second out, please. Round three. Well, it's always difficult to discern expressions when facial coverings due to COVID-19 protocols are in place. But if I'm not mistaken, the Czech coach was smiling up there in that blue corner. As if to say, are you having fun? Go out there and enjoy yourself in this final round, Vaklavikova. And she's done exactly that. Two shot success for her just a few moments ago. And she's coming with repeated straight shot, accurate punches. Crowding Therese Czech, but she has to be careful that she doesn't smother her own work. She needs a big round here, does Vaklavikova. Naiva life scoring in effect here, so she'll be aware of that. And to her credit, she's trying to get the dominant round that she needs. Vaklavikova accommodating in her, her in her accommodating her in exchanges. Shot blocked by the right glove of Vaklavikova. But again, she's not able to she's 
produce any consistent body punching when she gets into this type of territory. Trying to free her hands. Therese Chat getting through with the right hand underneath. Very physical contest, this one. Midway through the third and final round, Vaklavikova coming forward with a left jab. She was countered with the same shot from Tereszczak. Right hand success from Vaklavika, but then look how she crowds her own work. Swarming forwards, practically falling over Tereszczak, rather than keeping her distance. And with Tereszczak in that disadvantageous position, she could have perhaps landed a couple of scoring shots. She's successful with the right hand once again, catching Tereszczak as she attempted to pivot away. Flashing right hook and left hook. Fired out by Tereszczak, who's put on the end of a straight left right by Vaklavikova. So Vaklavikova repeatedly willing to step back into punching range and she's often led with a stiff left jab which has found the range but then after that the box is falling into one another and she's not been able to follow up on a single shot success she's producing just like that left jab then she walked into a counter right hand from Therese Jack and you have to admire the commitment of the woman in blue she would have been aware of the context of the about coming into this third and final round, but she, and it hasn't been for a lack of effort, demonstrated, oh, terrific one-two landed by Vaklavikova. Her desire unquestionable, but she hasn't been able to produce the quality that she needed. One suspects it will be Tereszczak who goes through to the quarter-final stage here. Ladies and gentlemen, winner of this bout by unanimous decision is the boxer from the red corner, Victoria Agnieszka Tereszczak, Polska, Poland. So Victoria Tereszczak, a unanimous points decision winner over Kristina Vaklavikova of the Czech Republic. Vaklavikova never stopped competing but just not able to score on a consistent enough basis to get the verdict from the judges. She's eliminated here in a round of 16.